All right, guys, welcome back to Rave Culture Cast. We are here at Project Glow, day two. Very rainy day here, yeah. but I am all smiles because I'm here with Abco. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. How we, we got, are we got matching house shirts yeah. today? Oh, by I know. Way. But, oh, I thought yours was almost like a, like an Amazon My little logo for a minute because I've got like the fake. Nike I love logo it. Here. Yeah. How are we feeling about House Music Day today? Oh man, I'm so stoked. Today is like all my all my stuff all day. Hell yeah! yeah. And you were here last year as well, yeah. but. How does it feel this year? Like, what's different compared to last year? And you're in a different place career-wise, like everything. Yeah, um, I think like just like the the venue and everything is like quite an upgrade from last year. You know, because mm -hmm. when it's the first year of a festival, it's always like you're not sure how it's gonna go. Right. Um, but last year was actually the first festival I ever played ever. And then I had a bunch of other festivals last year, so right. Glow is like will always have a special place in my heart because it was yeah. the first festival I ever played. Um, That's awesome. And this year I'm playing later in the day, which I'm thankful for, mm -hmm. you know. And I really think like the Secret Garden is such a cool vibe, so I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, it's gonna be Hell fun. Oh yeah! And can you talk a little bit about like the space you're sharing too? Because Secret Garden this year, it's like celebrating local DJs. You've got like Babyweight, Max, yeah. like some really incredible and, like, artists. And like all the awesome like LGBT like yeah. artists. It's so dope. Like you know, especially like house music like that is where it was founded in those spaces and stuff and even yesterday I saw there was someone voguing there and I was just like yes, this is yes. like this is the culture you know like yeah. it's so dope so I'm really grateful and like appreciative that they asked me to to play on that stage um, yeah. a, a, alongside like just awesome awesome yeah. artists it's all, it's a cool stage this year too because they change like the vibes of it like there's been people the energy at the stage has felt different which I was gonna ask like how would you describe audiences on the East Coast <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Like, I don't know if I have an answer for like East Coast crowds because like West Coast. I've, I've yeah, never yeah. really played West Coast shows before, I okay. guess. Um, but I will say that, especially the kind of house music that I play and I'm into, it's usually a little bit more of an older crowd. Okay. Like when I go to uh, Europe, it's like mm -hmm. I'm like one of the younger people, but now right, in like right. America, I feel like one of the older people. Right. But I like being able to like kind of bridge that gap, you know, and like introduce younger people into like more like classic mm -hmm. house inspired music and stuff. Yeah. So That's yeah, but true. as far as East Coast, I don't know if I have any. <laughs> we're a great any, crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, I, I mean, I you know, we're, we're both Jersey girls. Yes. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> no, but it has been like the vibes yesterday were awesome. Like everybody I met, I feel like had a good energy to, to them. Them, but yeah. okay, so I, I did some digging on you. Uh -oh. You grew up as a competitive athlete. Yes. I saw. How does that discipline translate into being an artist? Yeah, um, my stepdad was the one that really was like all about me playing sports. Um, mm -hmm. I played Division One field hockey in college. Like it was my life right. um, before music. But I definitely think that like hard work pays off, applies mm -hmm. everywhere. Like um, I also studied engineering in college, so like doing that and playing a sport oh my God. all year round, like it was a lot, but right. I've just become accustomed to working, you know, right. as hard as I can all the time. So I think that definitely applies, like, you know, into mm -hmm. this very big shift I've had in my life within yeah. the last, like, few years. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. Are, are you still big, like, sports fan? Do you have any favorite teams or anything? Um, or I am a Pats fan, which okay, coming, fair growing enough. up in Jersey was, like, not okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I lived in Boston for seven years, um, so okay. I'm a big Pats fan. I love football. Um, nice. That's really all I follow now, though. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, like connected to anything too much. My husband's a Vikings fan. And okay. People are like, you're from New Jersey. Why the fuck yeah. are you a Vikings fan? So I really, but okay. Can you talk a little bit about your connection to the band Arizona? Oh like, my gosh. What does that ring a bell? Okay, well, my wife is here and she can attest <laughs> to this. Um, uh, this was like a pr very profound moment I had in my life. I was really miserable with my corporate job. I was just very unhappy with what I was doing. I had been DJing for quite a few years before that, mostly like at home kind of stuff, playing house parties, you know, bedroom DJ stuff. Right. But I remember being like, why am I so much more passionate about this other thing than the thing that I'm actually getting paid to do with my mm -hmm. life? Um, so my wife and I were at ACL in 2018, I think, and we saw the yeah. band Arizona. Um, which like I knew a couple other you know songs whatever and we went to check it out and I'll never forget the middle of his set the guy just yells into the microphone because he gave a background on like how the band came to be yeah he yells into the microphone he said if you're not doing what you love with your life then you're wasting your fucking time and I just like lost it and I'm like oh. it hit me so hard and I was like you know what I need to I need to make a change and I like quit my wow. corporate life and just like 
have a very supportive partner and grateful for us. That's um, yeah. So yeah, that's you needed uh, to hear that. And now at actually, that time. <laughs> Arizona's like putting out more dance music, so I'm like, I they need are. to like get back into that. And it's that's like so funny. Yeah. Okay, so funny story. When I saw that, so I went to high school with two of them. No way. <laughs> one of them graduated with me, and one was the grade younger. Oh my yeah. Gosh. Wow. So what I'll have to a talk connection. to you about that. Yeah. Wow, that's I was, so like, funny. Because same thing, like they were musical in high school, yeah. and then their like band like literally blew up, and same thing. And I was like, wow. Well, if you still so talk to them, cool. tell them that. that <laughs> <laughs> it literally changed my life. It's, so. No, it's cool to see people like doing their thing and like pursuing what they love. And that's what, what like love. I want to inspire people to do too. Mm -hmm. Like, I you know I have a master's in mechanical engineering right, and now right, I'm a right. DJ, but like it doesn't matter. You need to do what you, makes you happy. Life is way too short. You yeah, know, so. for sure. I'm um, retweet to that. Mm -hmm. And then so far in your career in music, like what have been like bigger pivotal moments? Yeah, for I you? mean honestly, playing Glow last year was like a huge step for me. Just mm -hmm. getting booked for my first festival. I went on to play Firefly last year, which was nice. The, actually the first festival I ever went to okay. in like 2013. So that was a very full, full circle. circle moment Love for it. me. Yep. Um, and I got to play Groove Cruise, which was really awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, even just the opportunities I've had here in DC to play with artists that like are really the ones that got me into house mm -hmm. music and dance music. Like I played with Duke Dumont now at Echo Stage. I played yeah. with Gorgon City. Um, which That's those crazy. those two acts alone, like circa 2012, like that yeah. was what really introduced me to like house and electronic, and it mm -hmm. really shifted my whole perspective on like what kind of music I was right. into. So it's does been it cool change to play your perspective them. too? Like when you meet these artists who you're a fan of, and like they respect you, they support you, are you just more like hype that this you chose yeah, this I career? Yeah, I mean, I definitely like I fangirl all the time, yeah. you know, and I like get to like meet these artists and play with these artists. And even yeah. last year, I got to play at Mirage mm -hmm. um, with Don Dalla, which was. By far, Insane. probably the biggest thing I've been able to like to yeah. do so far, which was incredible. That's um, awesome. And meeting him, and he was just like the nicest guy, and that just like makes it even sweeter. You yeah. know what I mean? So a hundred percent. And then you're gonna get to do that to other artists too. As yeah, well, like coming yeah. up. So it's it's like awesome to see the connections and everything. Okay, and then you've also had support from organizations like Fem House. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel to like be a part of those types of organizations as well, and just like network and yeah, this it's great. I love that. Like I mean. They're really, I see it on more of a local scale, but they're like really is a push to get book more women, you know, right. support more women producers. Right. Um, because there is like, you know, when we look at a lot of these lineups, obviously they're mm -hmm. male dominated. So I'm grateful to be, you know, associated yeah. with organizations and stuff that, um, you know, just support women and, and LGBT plus mm -hmm. folks in this space Sick. because, again, like this is where house music started. You right, know? right, right, right. Um, so I think we need to we need to do what we can to support those like marginalized communities in this space. Hundred percent. And it's cool to see a lot of things too, like post pandemic that happened too. Like a lot of that kind of like started around by 19, 2020, Definitely. and then like after it's it's been cool to just see these companies like growing. Definitely. And everything. Yeah. 100%. So I'd love to see that. But okay, if you had to pick something you're most excited about right now, like what gets you out of bed in oh, the morning? Oh gosh. <laughs> Um, oh, that's a good question. It can be personal or professional. Well, on a personal level, yeah. my wife and I have a van life van ah. that we call Louis Van Dyke. In yeah. lieu of a wedding, we bought ourselves a van. I love it, that's, okay. Hence the name Louis. Van Dyke is obvious. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, we're doing a lot of projects in the van, so that's okay. like a very exciting thing right now because we love to go to festivals and stuff. Ah. Um, I know you had your first Electric Forest experience. Yes. <laughs> that festival. If I can only play one festival in the entire world ever again, yeah. it would be Electric Forest. Um, this will be my fifth year going, so that's definitely wow. something I'm looking forward to. Nice. Love to get booked You're there taking the van. one day. We're taking the van out. Nice. Okay. Um, and so that is like definitely something I'm looking forward to. Sick. And then in the music space, like I have a lot of really exciting collabs that I'm working on right now with mm -hmm. some artists that like I really respect, like bigger artists than me. So I'm cool. appreciative to have those opportunities. So. Hopefully, come this cool. summer and in the fall, have some some good releases coming yeah. up. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You spoke true to the forest vibes like that. <laughs> easily, like I had heard such good things, and it became my favorite festival. That like venue, as soon as being the, there. <laughs> that's the kind of place I don't care about the lineup. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like yeah. just the the energy there. Just and, attending. And the venue. It's just it's it's amazing. I oh love my it. God. Okay. You're gonna have to show me pictures of the van. <laughs> okay. Last two questions. Secret weapon in your sets right now. Can you reveal? You know, so <laughs> I went to Miami Music Week yeah. and I got to see two absolute legends for the first time, Derek Carter and Kerry Chandler, some OG house guys. Nice. Yeah. And they just inspired me to like really get crate digging, you know what I okay. mean? And like 
It's funny, I feel like the older I've gotten and like the more mature I get in my music career, mm -hmm. the older my taste is getting. Okay, um, fair enough. And there's some like fire from like Todd Terry from like back in the day. That's just like nice. so good. So I've got a track of his today that I'm gonna play that I'm actually Ooh, really excited about. Okay, we love Todd Terry, that's yeah. sick. Okay, and then finish the sentence, in one year I will be? I will be signed to one of the defective labels. Ooh. Heard it here first. That's okay. Dream. Love it. And then lastly, we have a lightning round. Okay. So just anything comes to your head first thing. Okay. Do you have a favorite vacation spot? Can I say electric forest? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes. Uh, what's your go-to comfort food? Comfort food? Uh, pizza. Do you have a favorite place or like there's anything? Not, there's not. Yeah, you can't. New York pie can't around names. here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, aisle seat or window seat? Window seat, always. <laughs> okay. Fuck, Mary, kill. Texting, calling, voice memos. Kill voice memos. Okay. Please don't send me those. Hot take. <laughs> um, kill voice memos. Mary. Mary. Text messaging. Okay. What was the, what was the uh, calling? Calling. Mary calling. Okay. Sure. There you go. <laughs> Camping festival or city festival? Can't Camping. We know the answer the to that one. Pool parties or after parties? Pool parties. TV show you are currently binging? Uh, Better Call Saul. It's a good one. Favorite festival to attend as a fan? Electric Forest. <laughs> we know that one. Dream collab? <sighs> Sam Devine. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, and then I'm gonna change this last one, but who is an artist we should have on our radar right now, if you had to pick somebody? Ooh. On your radar. Mm -hmm. Anyone we should hype up? <laughs> I mean, Honey Love has been killing it, but I think people Ooh. already know she's absolutely killing it. I'm excited for her set today, her yeah. B2B. Um, I think. I know that's a tough one. <laughs> um, okay, here's one. To me, disco. T O O M Y, disco. Ooh, okay. He uh, has not made it to the states yet, but okay. I'm a big fan of his music. Ooh, see, I love asking this question because then I always find people who become my favorite artists mm -hmm. later on. So I love mm -hmm. it. Thank you so much for Thank your time, you. Abco. We can't wait for your set today. Thanks. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Bye, guys.